welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 restoration. Today we're going to put the head back on the engine. First things first, I've been over this this morning, over the block, and I've degreased it and cleaned it. I've degreased the face and head of the cylinder head, the, the matching head that's going to go on here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get my gasket. Fighting with a packet here. Right, so we're going to get my gasket. The large hole at the front here goes to your water pump, your water jacket. What we need to do, we need to make sure every hole in the block has got a hole in the gasket. Because sometimes, now and again, you'll get a one where it blocks a water gallery. There is no oil galleries comes transitions through from the block to the head. The oil for the head for the rocker gear comes up through this pipe from the bottom of the block. I've loosened that off and I've just pushed it to one side so I can get in without catching it with the head. Right, gasket. Let's pop my gasket on. As I say, both surfaces are being cleaned. Now we need to look to make sure that everywhere there's a hole in the gasket, there's a block, there's a hole in the block underneath. And then if we lift it up, we can check the block to make sure that wherever there's a hole in the block, there is also a corresponding hole in the gasket. That looks good to me. Another vitally important part is this. It's a little rubber grommet that goes between your cylinder head and your water pump. If you forget that, you've got to loosen it all off, jack it up, pop it in, let it back down. Okay. So, this for me is going to be the trickiest part. I haven't got enough headroom to put a, a hoist in. So I've got nothing to suspend this cylinder head from. And any of you who's had your cylinder head off will know it's a bloody ton weight, isn't it? More so once it's dressed. Okay, let's get the cylinder head, see if we can get it in position. All right. Right, here we go. This is going to be fun. It's going to be the good part. As I say, underneath of this has been degreased. There's nothing to get a hold of, is there? Nothing. Here we go, here we go. check where rubber's in and I'll get me glasses and we'll have a look in there make sure it's sat properly and we'll have a we'll have a little pokey stick see what's going on here yes it has that's gone in nicely it's in position I'll tell you something Dearly what, that went down easier than it came off. It had to be jacked off either end, a little bit at a time, till it cleared the studs. Okay, let's get um, what oil can. I want to drop of oil on each of the threads, just to stop them galling. Just a drop, I don't want lots of oil on them. Got me book as well with the torque sequences in. You tighten these down in three stages. 
final torque setting, 90 foot pounds. So you do 30, 60, 90. Okay, let's get some bolts, nuts and studs in. Okay, these ones, I've shortened the bolt and put the bolt in the end of there. They are open through, they look like joiners more than anything else. Can anybody tell me why they are on the outside here? It's as if that was supposed to be some form of support put in there. Maybe to support the bonnet or what, I don't know. But if somebody could tell me what they are for. Right, these ones go down the back and into the middles. I say we've got one manual with we. So we can do the correct tightening sequences. It's got a bit of a strange sequence to it, this one. I would have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, but it doesn't, it doesn't do that at all. So that's why I brought the book, so we can follow the book. That's a wrong one on there, that doesn't go on that one Barry. That's a nut, because that is the bottom end of the rocker cover. That goes on there, and that one goes on there. Three nuts, one, two, three, straight down the centre. Flat face on these, radius face, radius face up. There are no washers on them. And the three nuts are here because you've obviously got the rocker cover comes right along this edge. Okay, seven bolts. put the drop of oil into the threads. I'm going to put a drop on here, just a drop. Again, there are no washers on these. I was quite, <coughs> quite pleasantly surprised how relatively easy that was to put the head on. I can't remember what it was like the first time. First time it was lower. It was in a lower frame. And I'm not sure if I had, because it was just the engine in here then, I think I had the engine crane. These are the original bolts, just being wire brushed. You can see there's one or two of them, the heads have seen better days. But the heads don't affect the ability of the bolt to tighten. Right. So, we will get a socket. And we'll just get a torsion bar and we'll just tighten these down hand tight to start with. Socket.
Okay. Where's my handbook? I did have, there it is, it's on my on spare desk. I don't know if you can see, but we've actually put the footsteps back on during the week. Here we go. So I brought this out. Gives us the tightening sequence for the heads. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I thought we might have gone four, five, but it doesn't. It goes four, five, six, seven. It goes all over the place, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look here. Pop that there. This one's definitely one. Two. Three. Four. No, that's not right, see? Uh, that's not right. Four is that one. Four. Five. Six. We do this often enough, we might learn something with it, might we? Seven. Eight. Nine. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. And nineteen. Okay. Let's have the talker and shoulder. Right, got one. Got a torque wrench, got a conversion tables. These 30 foot pounds, 60 foot pounds, 90 foot pounds. Rookie dookie. 30 foot pounds in Newton meters, 40.68. So we'll go for 40, yeah. 40, there's a 42 there. Newton meters. Forty-two. Okay. Same again. Now, obviously, as you tighten this down, the ones that you've previously tightened, like that one, has now come slack again. So we'll just ease this up to 30 foot pounds, one, two, three, four, Six.
right, 30 foot pounds, but as I say, as I've tensioned that, they will have reduced the pressure. So now I'm gonna go around it again at 30 foot pounds, and I'm gonna do it again. And see how much has changed. Look at that. Getting quarter of a turn on that. Easily quarter turn. Try to remember the sequence. It's horrendous. 16. 17. 18. 19. Okay. What we're going to do now, go around them again. Same pressure. 30. Right. Okay, I think what we'll do now, we'll give this 15 minutes just to sit and compress and we'll come back and we'll do them for a third time with 42 Newton meters. All right, 15 minutes and we'll be back. Right, we're back, we're down to our last round of 90s. So we're gonna quickly whiz around here at 90. Make sure, every, this is the third round of 90s, just make sure everything is tight. Right, that, I'm gonna get my glasses on for you. That was a quick whiz around at 90 foot pounds or 122 Newton meters. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do now, because I can get, I want this to sit overnight and just compress. And we'll come back in the morning and we'll check these again down to 90. But in the meantime, we can put the rocker shaft in and the push rods. So that's my next job. I'm gonna pop them into position and we'll see where we'll go. So let's get some push rods, eh? Okay, push rods. You'll feel them drop into position. Now, first time I took these out, I did keep them all in the correct sequence. But this time, I thought, you know what? 
not gonna matter because they've all had a clean up anyway. That's not in. That's in. We're going to get a torch and we're going to look down those holes and verify they're all sitting in their little seats. One is. Yep, that one is. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. 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 Yep, it is. Okay. You could also have took the side covers off. But the only thing is, I glued them on, I didn't glue them on, I put them on with well seal. And I've got a, the cork, and I've got a feeling that if I took them back off now, they've been on best part of two years, they'd probably rip. And I'd have to wait for new gaskets arriving. So now I've verified that I can get to every single nut and bolt. These ones are not a problem. These are not a problem. It's these ones in here, which is, which we'll be able to get to. No bother with the rocker shaft in. So let's have a look with the rocker shaft. Right. Originally, originally, I stripped this down to its every single component it's all being cleaned you take the screw out of this end pillar to strip it out there are two holes in the shaft in here that line up with this hole here in the cylinder head and this is where the oil feeds from this pipe through the cylinder head up into here fills your rocker shaft and comes out through these little holes to lubricate everything. Now, when you build, when you put this back together, this is the first one you put on. You put the pillar on, you line the holes up, you put the screw in so that that pillar cannot move on the shaft. And that way, the hole in the bottom, in there, lines up with the hole in the shaft to allow the oil in to fill the shaft. You then sent a punch the bracket to stop that screw coming loose so I'll tell you what we'll do let's have a spanner we'll have all these just loosened they're all going to need reset obviously anyway aren't they Check that one again. Find what's going on there. Right, they're all loose. Let's have a quick look at what's going on there. Where's my torch? That's in the hole. That's in the hole. It was this one, wasn't it? It's not in the hole. It is now. It is now. Yes. Okay. Bolts. Let's get some bolts for this rocker cover. Bolts for our rocker shaft. 
couple more up here. Up there. Now these are the way they are when they came off. Every single one has got a spring washer and a flat washer. The flat washer is because the column, the pillars are aluminium. Okay, let's see if we can get this into position. Back these all the way out so they're not interfering with the rockers with so they're not interfering with the push rods not the rockers Take my bolt, get my first bolt started. You got to compress these against the springs, make sure that they are not interfering with your push rods or the back of your valves. Don't force anything, it will go. There we go. Next one, this one wants to come towards the camera. Again, just make sure that you've got clearance on everything. Final one. Now, all I'm doing now is turning the tappets down so as to engage in the cups. So we know they're all in correct. I see a thing for me hands, can you? My arms. Okay, let's get a socket. Let's have these brought down.
there is a torque setting for these. My manual hasn't got it. However, I will find it out for tomorrow and I'll let you know in the next video what that torque setting should be for these. And we want to grab a big screwdriver. I've got a back, not too big, too jolly big. Get this one. Back every single one of these out. So we've got clearance. Right. That one's still a bit tight. Okay. Right, we'll bat along, bring these down. Click. 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 Click, click. Double one on that one. Oh, that's got a tight hold. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bit of oil all the way along there. Just so we know it's not dry when it starts. Okay. Right. That's it for today. Tomorrow, I've got to pop it to the dentist's first thing in the morrow. I've got a smashed tooth in my head as well. So I've got to get that pulled out tomorrow. When I get back, we'll check the torque on this head. We'll get everything brought down will know by then the torque settings on these rock shaft retainers and we will get those put down to torque and then we will check and set the tap it's cold when we get this up and running we'll try and get it running for about half an hour get it nice and warm then we'll come back and we'll check the head bolts and the clearances again to make sure everything's down. Now I got an email uh, a week ago off Tom Hart. He has his back together and running as you've seen in the video in our community area. Um, but he hasn't run it for about two months. And in this position at the back of the between the head and the block around about this area, he noticed a small bead of antifreeze popping out. Now, when I stripped this to send it away to get these valves done, I had the same. And as there is uh, a connection, there is a gallery connection between the head and the block in that area of water. 
So it might be that either your head gasket hasn't sealed properly or just possibly something's happened to ease the pressure. I don't know if you went back to revisit it, Tom, and pull it down again. But as you see, when I brought this down to 30, we had to go around it, I think, five times in total to get it down to 30, because every time you worked your way out, the centers became loose again. So it may just be that you just need to revisit the head, pull it down tight again, and see what's happening. Right then, that's it for this video. First one back after a long while. I know we've had a long while off, but we've had a lot going on recently. But heads back on, down to 90. Hopefully, it'll not settle much further. We'll just check it tomorrow. As always, guys, your time is greatly appreciated when you come visiting us. Um, next video will be checking this, tightening everything down, putting the settings on, putting the front end back on, put the thermostat in, thermostat housing, possibly the radiator, and just finishing it off, getting it ready to start to run again. Thanks very much. See you in the next one. But remember, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. Bye now.